had so many waiting, so it's so great to see everyone. I fingers crossed it works today yes. because the devil's trying to play with the church's money again and not let us have this great teaching time where Courtney's going to teach us how to make this awesome, flawless project. Flawless. But if you guys want the full in-depth class, we had it at the Spring Summit. So go get that ticket and get access to this class because we're going to go over the basics. But if you want all the good tips. Yeah, we're going to go like a little bit faster than Carly did in yeah. the class. Yeah, and Carly gives specifics on everything um so this class is not the specifics for everything but it's gonna be really really good rachel is here she is not mic'd up she's sending all her love i'm sorry i stole her mic guys it's not everyday court courts here to make a fun project with us so we're super excited to have you guys here today it is tuesday we are super happy that you guys are here if you all have any questions be sure to throw those up if you're brand new um be sure to share with us where you're visiting from if you're watching the recorded leave us a comment as well and yeah, so I'm super excited. Yeah, me too. I had so much fun making this example one for the live and I can't wait to make it with you. Tana. Yeah, so this is from our summer collection. So if you guys have not already went ahead and seen our amazing summer collection, there's so many great projects on that collection that launched this month. Um, and you are going to just love all the files that are in that collection. We have a whole category of summer files that you can go check out if you are a Makers Gonna Learn member. All members get access to our cut files, so that's amazing. We have over a thousand. So if you much have value. Not, so much value. If you have not went ahead and joined Makers Gonna Learn, great time to sign up and join, whether you're a monthly, six month, or yearly member. Be sure to read on our join page all those yearly perks that you get because we have fonts that people talk about them being super valuable. Um, so we get definitely give those to all of our yearly members and it's a lot of fun. So yeah. Rachel, who do we got hanging out with us? I'll try to repeat the questions or comments so that everyone can hear in case they can't hear you. We've got a ton of people. Yay, and lots of people. Have, the question we're getting the most is where yeah. did you get the blank mats? So we're about to go over all the supplies so that if you are wondering where we got the mats, give us one second, Courtney's gonna go over all of that. But yeah, how, um, who's visiting with us today? Oh, we've got Gloria. Oh, hey, Los Gloria Angeles. from East Los Angeles. Um, oh my goodness, we love have you. Coming from everywhere. Yay. Everywhere we have people coming in from. Rachel saying. We have some people making some chocolate chip cookies. Some people are making chocolate chip cookies. Bring them over. Send them our way. We're always ready for a nice, warm, homemade cookie. Yes. So super fun. But. Courtney, what do we need to get started with today's All project? All right. Well, let's start by answering that question that we keep getting. I got these mats at Target. Mm -hmm. They were 10% off of Ooh. $10. Yes. So I think it made them $9. Yeah. But here is the doormat that Courtney has yes. used. It is the Room Essentials doormat. Um, this size right here is 18 by 30 inches. So we use our 18 by 30. This is um, a pretty standard uh, doormat if you know if you have a pretty large door you could use a larger one um, or anything like that here's but the barcode if you're lucky enough to go to live near an Ikea that is a great place to stock up on these plain doormats I think theirs are only about five dollars that's amazing and then maybe eight dollars for a big the big ones one. yeah um, yeah so yeah. I just wasn't able to make a trip to Ikea sure. for these. Sure, but what other supplies do we need? Yeah. All right, moving on, we're going to need some paint brushes that have flat tops that are round, so that gives them like more surface area because you're like it's more like a pouncer necessarily yeah. than a paintbrush is how we're going to use it. So that gives us more surface area than just uh, say that one line of a paintbrush. Sure. And then we're using some multi-surface paint mm -hmm. over here. Very important. Um, we have it in green, yellow, and black because we're recreating this uh, yes. pineapple design, but any color would be great. Where is our box of freezer paper so we can show people that's not familiar with it? Right here? Well, it's just Perfect. Me so a lot of people are not familiar with freezer paper. So do you want to talk about that, Court? Yeah. So freezer paper, I've never actually used it for its intended purpose. <laughs> me either. Um, I believe that you wrap meat in freezer paper and put it in the freezer yes. so that it doesn't get freezer burnt. I believe that's what it is uh, meant to mm -hmm. prevent. But I think that uh, they have caught on to what most people are actually using it for. And now on the box, it says great for arts and crafts. And then on the other side, it says 
and freezing meat. Yes, but um, what it is, is it's a two-sided material. Again, just like with iron-on, it has a shiny side and it has this dull side. So it's gonna be really great. This um, shiny side, we're actually gonna heat it to our, with our easy press. Yeah, it's a to, plastic coating that you'll wax. melt. Yes, it's like a little waxy. Um, you're gonna be able to heat this onto your mat and that's how you're gonna get these awesome edges. Crisp I mean, they're line. crisp, yeah. they're perfect. Um, so we already have our piece on the mat and you're going to be putting that shiny side down and court, do you mirror it? No, no. So we do not have to yes. mirror it. As Perfect. long as you put it shiny side down, no mirroring. If you put it shiny side up, then you have to mirror. Are it, there so. tutorials? Like, do you know for sure? Like what the average person would do like in other tutorials? I'm not sure. Okay, cool. I'm I just, just curious. Yeah. But yeah. Alrighty. All right. So, so you want to pick out our file? Yes. We're going to find our file guys. There is also an aloha one that we could use cool uh with the same pineapple and mm -hmm. same text it's mm -hmm. just like another option for home totally well we can use that today if we want but right now guys we are in the brand new collection category so if you were like i always want to see the latest and greatest cut files that's new to the membership and the collection all you need to do is head over to makersgonnalearn.com slash cut files it is makersgonnalearn.com slash cut dash files um, and that'll take you there but right here you can see all of our categories right up at the top you can search any phrase any keywords things like that to try to locate your perfect file but if you were having trouble finding the perfect saying and things like that be sure to reference your pdf guide on the dashboard um, because you can just scroll through all those files we always have the latest collection right here so you can go straight to the um, latest collection and we usually put the collection before that right here or we have bonus collections in that area a lot. Yeah. So, you know, especially Blade is right here, but you can just go to the newest collection and that is part of our, you know, addition to the summer category. So we've had a summer collection before, so they're mixed in here with new files and um, other amazingness. So we're just gonna scroll through and find our cut file. But Rachel, do we have any questions? Is the paint acrylic? Yes, do you want to grab the paint so we can give them a close up on yeah. that? Yes, so we love, love, love this paint. It's multi-surface. You can get it in almost any brand. I mean, we're not so set on a specific brand as we are a lot of things, but you do want to have acrylic multi-surface paint. Sad Carly, yeah, Carly uses a different paint, which worked really, really well. It is still and you do paint. need to just reference the course, um, the summit to get all the details on that. So, so much fun. So here's our little home that we, that we've used on our sample. But Court, do you want to use the, the other one? The oh, there. would that be a little complicated? Should we contour out yeah, summer? I would contour out summer. Okay, so let's do this one because it's really fun. So if you guys have not already used makersgonnalearn.com, the cut files are super easy. A little easy press is chirping at me. Um, but it's super easy to use our files. So the download button is in two places. You can find it right here, or you can scroll down and you can see grab this cut file. Now, if you're a Makers Gonna Learn member, it'll just say download now. If you are not signed in, it will say something like um, join now to get this cut file and things like that. But if you're a member, you get access to all of the cut files over a thousand um, yearly members also get access to three e-courses completely free and you get access to over 160 fonts. That's a great value. We're gonna open Aloha Summer in iZip because we're using the iPad today. And then we've unzipped it. We don't need to see that right now. We're gonna go over under upload. We are going to browse files on my iPad, I zip, and we have videos explaining this whole process, you know, real slow. So if we have any beginners, um, you can just go reference one of those videos for working with cut files on your iPad. Um, but if you're on desktop, it is even easier than this. So have no fear. So any questions? Um, I think we had one. Uh, Kathy said, will we need to seal the paint so it won't get scuffed due to footwear? Would we need to seal the paint due to footwear, Kathy says. So, Court, what are your thoughts on, you know, the durability of the acrylic paint? So, I would say that the acrylic paint, I have one of these out at my house, um, is just as durable as the matte, 
Mm -hmm. These kind of mats aren't like a long-term thing. They're pretty seasonal. Mm -hmm. So while you're have while you have this mat out for summer, the mat and the paint will wear out like the same, the same time. time. So by the time you need a new mat, like you're still gonna be fine with that. Yeah, and they're affordable. I mean, IKEA for $5, yeah. um, Target for less than 10, you're still getting a great deal per se. Um, so that's awesome. So now we're going to go over here after you upload your cut file. What we love about our cut files, they're organized by each color. They're, the SVG has all of this organized for us and it's perfect. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go to Actions and we're going to select the layer. And uh, Melanie did want to know while you were in Design Space, if you could show her really quick on the iPad how to change a cut file uh, to draw or write. Totally. So I can show, uh, is that Melody? Melanie. So Melanie, what we're going to do real quick for you is I'm going to share with you. So over in your Layers panel, and this is the same for desktop and iOS, you'll be able to select the layer of your choice. Right now we're on the black layer, so all of this black text. You're gonna see that it says cut, write, score, or print. Um, you're gonna be able to change it right here. I forgot that in Design Space on desktop, they changed it. Still select the layer of your choice, but then somewhere up in the top left-hand corner, it says cut. It will just simply change that to score, write, or print. So we can just click that to write, and you can see it now outlines it to show you exactly what it'll write and where the pen will touch. But we're gonna leave that cut, but such a great question, Melanie. A lot of people um, ask that. So thanks for, thanks for asking. I think that'll be super helpful. So we've selected the entire project. And first thing we're going to do is click ungroup. So once we ungroup that, we can now select the individual layers. So we're selecting the yellow layer. And before we do that, we are going to create an oval. Is that correct, Court? Yep. So we're creating an oval to replace all these little bitty pieces so that it's a lot easier to stencil because let me tell you, this is a craft fail waiting to happen if you're trying to use it on, on this material. Great for vinyl and iron on and stuff like that. Totally. But when you're stenciling, that would be a lot of work. Yeah. We're little lazy crafters here. So this is how you hack the system. So we're going to click shapes and we are just going to select circle. And then what we're going to do is just so that we can follow along even easier, we can change that to, to yellow. And what we're going to do is unlock it, and you can kind of just play around with it to be the size that you would like it to be. So Courtney, would you, do you want to do that? Is there any yeah. tips for doing this? Um, I would say just use the base, the one behind it, mm -hmm. that comes with the cut file as your guide for Perfect. it. Perfect. And that's why we didn't um, delete that layer yet. We're just using that as a reference. You can make the um, make it more oval by like sizing it down. You know, different things you can do here um, really I easily. Think that's about good. Perfect. Um, so, do you want to delete that back layer? Yeah. So I. Oops. No. No. Not there. Um, just select so it. So yeah, and what you would do is you just want to click it okay. and then delete that. So okay. now you'll zoom I, out. I would like to move the green a little bit. Perfect. So I wanted the uh, oval to be centered between the two mm -hmm. letters. Oh, oh. So it's all ungrouped, so we're able to play with it and mess with each layer. And soon we're going to weld this once we have it exactly positioned the way we would like it so that it cuts all on our freezer paper. I don't use an iPad all that often for design, yeah. space, so it's a little different for me. Yeah, be sure to speak up so everyone at home can hear. Or do we have any questions, Rachel? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect. Yay! Super happy. So Court's just um, resizing and moving around because we have um, made a few different um, movements on accident with our file. But it go. is going to be like this. And now what we need to do is select our black layer. Yeah. So this right here, and we're going to select Actions and Hide Contour. And we're just going to take out that summer because we do not want to, you know, have this on ours. You could leave it, but again, we want to stick to these big bulky letters because we want, we do not want to have any craft fails happening. So we suggest the larger images, the thick text, you know, you want to use those bold fonts for projects like this. You don't want to use those thin, um, you know, hair thin fonts or anything like that. So once you're good, once you're happy, what you're going to do is you're going to select all your layers. Now, right now we have three different layers but we have one mat that we're going to cut this on. So we're going to select all the layers, 
and we're going to select weld. It all changes it to one color. Not sure why it picked a green, but I'm cool with it. It looks good to me. Um, and now it's going to be able to cut this out on our freezer paper after we size it. So Court, do you know what size we should make this? Um, so because we have our uh, freezer paper cut at 12 inches one direction, we want that to be the height. So You mean the width? No, the height. Oh, okay. Yeah. So could you make the height as big as it can go? So like 11 and a half or something? Sure. Okay. Um, so 11.5. And that's going to make the width, um, you know, 11. So, oh, it yeah, it, was un it wasn't locked. Oopsie. Undo so, the yeah, undo button comes in clutch. Look at this. So, now you can just lock that okay. right here. Yeah. And we're just going to type in 11.5. And that's going to make the width 22 okay. inches. Let's size that down a little bit to 17 and a half for the width. Perfect. So, we're going to do right at 17 and a half. And again, you want to me measure your mat. Again, we're working with um, an 18 inch by um, 30 inch mat. Oops. So you just want to make sure you reference your mat and make sure all is good. So now the height is nine inches um, tall by 17.6 inches wide. So it'll look great on the middle of the um, mat. So do you have any questions or anything? Rich? Um, let's see. Some people are a little confused on how you can use freezer paper this. I right. Think so, I think some of these people have never used freezer paper to craft Yes. Theory. So if you guys have never used freezer paper, stick with us because you're going to be blown away as how freezer paper works as a stencil. Rachel, if you have a second, could you grab the link on the Makers Gonna Learn site to our freezer paper video? Because that would be great for you guys to, you know, save and for a tab later because you can use this um, when you're wanting to use fabric paint on t-shirts, when you're wanting to use it as a stencil today. But there's tons of things to use freezer paper with and ask. So okay. it's going to be so much fun. Um, and so are we Hannah, good to cut? I think because Aloha has one more letter. Okay. That our phrase on the doormat is going to be smaller. We could make our freezer paper bigger. Should we do that? And I make mean, a bigger design? Sure. Or just make a smaller design? I mean, we can make a bigger design. Okay. I, don't I think know. that would I'm be I'm just going to grab more freezer paper. Okay. Woohoo! We're going to grab more freezer paper. We're making something bigger. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> I'm just going to take this and we'll use this for a different project. So in Yeah, so it's super easy. I mean, freezer paper, guys, if you have never used it, yeah. um, what I'm going to do, Rachel, if you want to switch to the second camera, we'll, we'll get this situated. It's a lot easier to watch us get it crafty. Go widen that out for you. And then what we're going to do is um, just move this mat right here because we're going to sit it to the side. We only have so much craft space. The thing about, you know, crafting with these is that you need a lot of space. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do shiny is side down. shiny side down. So notice, I mean, you get a lot of freezer paper for so like $10. Much. So we're going to sort of position it right here on these, this edge. And then once it's good, we're going to take our handy dandy true control craft knife and we're just going to go ahead and make it the full width of the mat just to save us some time if we want to, we want to have the full mat to work with potentially. So that's super awesome. June says that her kids are buying her a yearly membership for her birthday in June. She's very excited. Aw, oh, June's getting your membership for her birthday. Yay, June, we're so excited to have you. That's awesome. What a, what great, a great birthday. Yeah. yeah. A whole you year of crafting. You raised those kids well. <laughs> they know how to take care of you. Right, I'll take this out of the way. Awesome. So that's how easy it is to position it on your mat, guys. And again, freezer paper has that double side. So you have the shiny, you have this shiny, shiny side, and then you have that dull side. So right here, we're good. You can use your scraper tool. There are some places in here that we need to, you know, even out. So we're just going to just even those out. Courtney is going to figure out exactly what size she wants it. Uh, so I want it at that 11 and a half inches high that I said okay. originally, which makes it 22 inches, uh, inches wide, wide mm -hmm. which wasn't, which is where we were having the problem last time because we only had 18 inches on the mat. Okay. So Whew. now. 
So now we I'm just going to load this go. in our machine. Oh, it's not even on. Hmm. So we're just going to load this in right here. Um, and while that's loading, we're going to continue. And it is larger, oh. th larger than what we're doing. So now you can see it right here on our mat. That's going to be really large. So it's super awesome. And now we're going to press continue and we're waiting to connect to the device. So super awesome. We're just waiting for it. So we're going to let that sit. Guys, isn't it so funny when we have it zoomed out? It looks totally <laughs> different than when we zoom in. So now you can see our Cricut Maker. So we're going to select that machine and it's going to connect via Bluetooth. So it's super easy. Again, we're putting it shiny side down, so no need to mirror because we're working with freezer paper. <laughs> Just this is not an iron on project, so super cool. So I would recommend moving your design on the mat so that you have an equal amount of space on the two ends. Mm -hmm. That way you're not really close to an end right. when you're stenciling. That's a great tip. And you can always use painter's tape if there's any, you know, edges and things like that. So now we're just going to select freezer paper as our material. So it'll know exactly what material this is. Freezer paper is across the board the same. Um, so it's a lot of fun. And it does not, Rachel, mm -hmm. no fast mode no for fast the freezer mode. paper. No. There's none. No. They I'm might sad. need an extra slow mode for it. <laughs> really? That's so good. yeah, so we're good to go. We can press that flashing cricket button. Alrighty. And it's going to go ahead and um, Start cutting, Cut, start cutting that out. So woohoo! Is go get cutting. It's super awesome. And again, guys, if you're not already a member to MakersGonLearn.com, be sure to head on over because all members get a copy of our printable guide. They get all kinds of member benefits right here. Um, we love all that we have for members. There's new files every single month. You get that member-only Facebook group the full project tutorials, and we have so much. I mean, our new website has made everything, you know, explained effortlessly. Um, so you can be a monthly member for $19.99 a month. You can be a six month member at $17.99 a month, but this best value tier gives you a year of crafting with us with three months free compared to being a monthly member for a year and you get the most benefits and perks. So be sure to check out makersgonnalearn.com slash join. Holly says she's buying a membership right now. Holly is buying a membership <laughs> right now. Welcome, Holly, to our crafty family. We are almost at 3,000 amazing members that are active and loving the community. I mean, it is so awesome to see you guys interacting. So here's what's different with our yearly membership compared to just being a monthly member. So I mentioned that, first of all, you get three months free. So those three months free get locks you in at $15.99 a month rather than $19.99 a month, which saves you $48 a year, which is awesome. You get over 160 fonts because we release them every three months. You get the commercial license. So you can use our artwork to make money with your machine. And on top of all of that, you get these three training classes as a complimentary gift. You get the Cricut Maker design um, course, you get the breaking down design space, and you get build a business through die cutting. And guys, this is almost the same price as your membership. Actually, it is is the same price, if not a few dollars more, if you bought all these courses separate. So such a great deal. You can see right here what you're getting as a monthly or six month member versus being that yearly member, which we love. So consider that when you're joining. Do we have any questions, Rachel? Uh, not about the membership. Okay. Well, is there any other crafty questions that they may have? We can unload the mat now. Um, Delilah wants to know, have you ever used the stencil film, like the actual stencil? We film? have. We're actually using it in our um, crafty membership, or in our crafty course. We are super excited. That's we use that. We so oh my gosh. I, guys, craft confession. Rachel can attest to me doing this just talk. Talk. very often. I, for some reason, get really confused when we're, <laughs> when we're weeding for stencils. I want to weed the stencil material. 
every single time. He was not being time, very gentle with our stencil. I was not, but I didn't do anything that can't be saved. Right, right. Um, and then Elaine says, do, you, do all your fonts stay on the side? Or after a while, do you replace them? No, we're only adding to the community and to the library. So we're only adding value to our members. And that's the same with cut files and fonts. So that's a great question. You don't have to rush to download any. There's no limited supply. All of our members get the perks um, as long as you, you know, have the right membership tier. So Courtney is just getting those final few pieces. Super awesome. And to Teresa just joined in. Yes. Want to know where the, mats are. the mats, you can find these for $5 at Ikea or a little bit more than that, but around $10 at Target. I've also seen these guys at Walmart. Um, so just be careful. You know where they have them for cheap that I just remembered? Where? If you have an Ollie's, what's that place? Aldi's? Called? No, Ollie's. Ollie's. Oh my gosh. Bargain if you guys have something. Ollie's, it's like a bargain place. Um, they have them really cheap. I used to get mine there. Um, great, great tip, Ollie's. Yes. So yeah, we're just having to weed out the piece we normally would craft with because we're using this as the stencil. So what we're going to do now is since this is a large piece, let's talk about this. This is a really large piece. So you could use some type of transfer tape if you're doing something crazy, but two things. The transfer tape would never, you know, stick to this. So I wouldn't recommend this. And we only have one piece that's not just all part of this, or two of these, sorry, thanks for it. Um, two of these, and we can position these really easy oh, yeah. with lining those up. So we're just gonna go ahead and peel this up. Do we have any tips and tricks to um, doing this? I would this? peel the mat off of the... Oh, okay. So flip her over. Yep, flip her over. Let me put this back down just in case. So we're gonna flip her over and just start peeling back this way. Yep. How awesome. I have a question about like the middle of the O's or the A's. Yes. They were wondering how to get those in the perfect center. So we're going to actually hand position those. Um, and that's why you, again, want to use those thicker mats um, because that does help with that. And you mean choose like the thicker wisely. letters? Yeah, choose your designs wisely. Yeah. Ours only has two of those, so it's not too overwhelming to be able to, you know, place down ourselves. And Shauna just you want to pull that mat in back? and wants to know what type of paper you're using. This is called freezer paper. It's pretty awesome. It's great for crafting. Buy it at the grocery Buy, store. Yeah, you grab it at where you get groceries. Buy the like wax paper. Yeah, it's with the Ziploc bags. Oil. Okay, whoa. Well, uh oh. Okay. Woohoo! So look at this, guys. We're just go start positioning this down. This is such a fun project. Now, this is a more time consuming project. I would definitely say this is not something you're gonna do in like two minutes. It's not like an iron on that's like really easy. This is definitely gonna be a project. So if you guys are like, now how is this gonna stay down? Mm -hmm. This is what we're about to just blow your mind with the easy press. So I'm excited. So quartz go be able to jump in. I'm gonna turn the easy press on and I'm gonna preheat it. Um, what temperature do you wanna have it to? Like 300, 340? 300 I think okay. would be good. And Tracy says, is the freezer paper better than stencil vinyl? It's different. Oh, for this project, 100%. You, I've tried to stencil with vinyl on these. It is a sticky, hot mess. Yes. So, and it's way more affordable. Can we talk about that oh, for a second? Yeah. Like this freezer paper, you get so much of it for super cheap. I mean, you get 150 square feet for less than eight or nine bucks. So this is the freezer paper. If you guys are just tuning in, we are making a doormat with um, freezer paper. So Courtney, you can just align that up. I'm just going to be talking about our freezer paper. Rachel, do we have any questions that we can answer? Uh, Michelle, um, I don't think she knows. Hey, Michelle. She knows like wax on there. She yes. Says, do you have to put something sticky on the freezer paper? First? So we are putting that um, plastic. So it says plastic coated. Um, this freezer paper has, let me grab a piece that we can demonstrate. So it has a dull side right here. This is the dull side. And then it has the shiny side. So the shiny side is what we're actually going to adhere down with the easy press. So Court, do you want to start that? I'm going to, we're going to switch yeah. positions. There we so go. So I'm going to start pressing it on and I'm going to start right here because there's a lot of things going on and I want that to be settled and then we'll move out from there. Okay, great. Um, is there any tips for positioning it or you just do your best? Uh, just make sure it's straight. Yeah. 
I will say I don't have the inserts for those letters in. You'll do that last. Because I'm going to do that last after everything is secure. Great. Oh, I forgot to set my timer. Do you usually do that? Um, so for these, I sometimes do and sometimes don't. But it depends on, you know, how specific you want to be. Sometimes you can just kind of pick it up. I'll, I like these because you can pick it up and sit it back down really easily. So, so freezer yeah. paper is ideal for stenciling on lock fabrics. Freezer paper is ideal if you're using the fabric paint or if you're doing something just so detailed like this. Like these, these things are hard. I mean, you, you have to paint these. You can't put vinyl or iron on, on them. Right. I'm struggling with the idea of not using stenciled vinyl, but because this is like So here, here's the deal. Stenciled vinyl is not going to stick to this like this is going to adhere with the heat. So that's what, you know, the kind of a fun challenge would be to, is to try this out because you're going to see it just adheres so much better um, than what you would get with stencil vinyl. So if you have had a craft film making a doormat with stencil vinyl, this is I a have. great, yeah, we have. Um, so this would be a great alternative for you to still get great, awesome results. And again, guys, if you have been to the Spring Summit, you got to see Carly Hall teach an amazing class on this um, with even more tips and tricks than we have for you today. So she's seriously a crafting pro and she's researched this and she became obsessed with making her doormats. That's why we had her teach it. Um, so it's really awesome. So it's just go help you get really flawless results. So if you have like Tanner, I've, I've used freezer paper before and I'm still having issues, stick with us because as we, after we adhere this down, we're giving you all the tips on painting, paint brushes painting and Rachel can attest to it you can think you know how to paint but there are techniques that you need to master to be able to get flawless results so we're going to go over those two today so but you wouldn't like recommend this to people who want to like stencil on a mug like, if you're stenciling like, correct yes sorry Rachel this is only for fabric this um freezer paper cannot adhere to a mug it cannot do any of that right there but Rachel added some new emojis for our join button in the comments. So are there, they're little paints, right? Yeah, so please. if you guys are not already a Makers Gonna Learn member, be sure to become a member today so that you get access to our Cricut printable guide. It's really, really awesome. You guys know all the benefits if you've been a subscriber for a while. Um, but if you're not already or a member and you have just recently subscribed, that is our membership site, makersgonnalearn.com and is the number one way to support everything that we do here. You get tons of value. We have over a thousand cut files ready for you to use with your machine. Um, let me get up here. I mean, we have so many awesome hand lettering files. You get our uh, Cricut printable guide. You get files every single month, as well as fonts if you're a yearly member. You get the exclusive member only Facebook group. I mean, we have so many awesome ones. This is a file right here, so you can take full advantage of that. Um, and it's really easy to become a member and get instant access to all the goodness. So, okay, Court, we're going to position these now down. we are positioning these down, yes. And I love the font because it's, or the hand lettering, because it's so easy. Like, you can tell that it just lines up right here. Like, how easy is that? And we have good. questions. Can you use a normal iron for this if you don't have an easy press? Yes, if you do not have an easy press, feel free to use the iron. I think this would be a great use for it, um, unlike iron-on. Um, you know, it's going to stay down really well. So just well. get the top of that one, not my okay. fingers. And then once the top is there, you can pull down yep. and do the bottom. So there we go. I would also recommend not to drag this. This is something you want to lift up, For sit sure. down, um, and yep. do a plot lot pressure. And um, I'm not sure what the name is, yes. but we do have a person joining that says, I will join as soon as you start doing silhouettes. I will join as soon as you start doing silhouette stuff. Well, whoever commented that, we are building out our silhouette education as we speak with all kinds of new things. I was just attending the Silhouette Summit. Um, so if you all are super excited, you can get our silhouette course or starting very, very soon, we will be having our silhouette education on Makers Gonna Learn as well. So no need to wait. No need to wait. You can join today. And, and all of these cut files work great on your silhouette too. Yeah, all our cut files work great on silhouette. Um, SVG, PNG versions, our font works great on silhouette. So you're gonna love it and we will have silhouette gods and things like that Horses. for you, courses and all. So lots of fun. So okay, Court, 
Alrighty, now we have our stencil set down here and we are going to uh, take our paint and get mm -hmm. ready to do the painting. I think I will do the black if you want to do the yellow at the sure. same time. You know, speed some things Definitely. up. Definitely. So with the yellow, because it's such a big surface area, mm -hmm. you can just pour the paint directly in oh, the middle. Oh, wow. And that will be great. So that's what I recommend for this That's yellow. what you recommend. Yes. Well, that's, she's giving me an open, open, but like to just go when crazy. When we get to the sides, we can't go as crazy, okay? Okay, okay. I'll use the, pl the, pay, the plate after. So guys, she gave me full reign yes. to kind of go crazy with this. Okay. Is that too much? No, no. No, we're going to need, we're gonna more. need more. Okay, yeah. cool. I'm going to zoom in just so we can get, you know, some detail going here. And then do you know how to do it? I don't know. Do I? Up and down motions, especially when you get to the side. You don't want any side action where you're going to no. get the bristles of your paintbrush underneath right. that stencil. So just go up and down and then you're good to go. But yeah, you want to get the paint pretty deep in yeah, there. Yeah, you do. So, Super awesome. Tips. Guys, I miss Rachel and her mic. If you miss Rachel, send her all the love. I think she's reading and it looks like she's replying to some comments. Rachel is missing you guys. Send Rachel all the love. Rachel's about to go to the spa. We, her and her mom. Yeah, her and her mom are going to the spa today. We're sending her to the spa. She worked so hard. It's my birthday present. It was her birthday present, a spa day, not only by herself, but with her mom, because it is, since Rachel's gotten married, I feel like her and her mom have become like, like BFFs in the most like, like healthy way possible. <laughs> like it's so, it, it, like some people, you know, are like, I don't know, it's like too, I wish Rachel had her mic so we could talk about it, but I don't know, her and her mom are just like, such good friends, and her mom loves going to the spa too. We love her mom. So anyway, she's, she's great. She's a hoot and a half. Uh, but yes, are there any questions that we can talk about as we are just stenciling away? Um, a lot of people wanted to know if it could be used with an iron. And yes, you I can use the, the iron. The hottest cotton setting. No yes, steam. the hottest cotton setting. Do not use that steam. Nay, nay, nay. And then Delilah said what kind of paint. It is multi-surface acrylic, so if you guys are just tuning in, we are using multi-surface acrylic paint. No brand specifics, just make sure it says multi-surface. That don't is a little, cheap. yeah, don't get cheap acrylic paint because you want it to just be thicker. That's going to save you from having to do, say, five coats versus yeah. two. You also won't want to use fabric paint for this because fabric paint is designed to be really thin mm -hmm. so that you don't feel it as much on your clothing. But you want something thick. Yeah. The thicker the better for this kind of stuff. Mine's going really good. How about yours? I feel like mine's going pretty good. I'm trying to, there's some areas that I'm trying to like dive into right. that are just, you know, not as, not wanting to cover as well as some other areas, but mm -hmm. I'm doing a little bit of multi, like action here. Yeah, you can do those different movements in the middle, but mm -hmm. just not those edges. Those edges, right, 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 right. So yeah, so now I've spread out my paint pretty well. So I'm just gonna expand my paint out just a little bit more. Um, you know, you will be getting closer and closer to those edges. And what I think I'm going to do for the edges is definitely, you know, get a plate and use it just because, you know, around those edges you want to be careful. So I think I'm almost going to be touching an edge up here. I don't think you need to use the plate. Just use this okay. extra paint there. Delilah says she's going to try to make glitter Delilah's making glitter tumblers. Well, you need to be watching Rachel's video because she tests 10 different things about glitter tumblers. I think she did. She told me. She said, Rachel. I'm oh, glitter. good. Well, Rachel is a glitter tumbler pro. She has spent weeks researching, um, you know, testing and debunking or, you know, proving different techniques and things. So it's a lot of fun. I love, you know, having Rachel's guidance for um, glitter tumblers because they're ever so popular. Um, and it's hard for me to do everything with our new silhouette education. So Rachel's been killing it with glitter tumblers and her video is awesome. So yes, enjoy that Delilah. Cannot wait to see your finished ones. Share them in the Facebook group if you're a member. And Holly is our viewer that ran off and got a member. Hey Holly, welcome she to said, the I crew. I PayPal and afterwards it didn't send me back to the site. <gasps> oh no, Holly, please send us and there you will get an email from us saying hey you did not complete your registration but if you want to get that instantly um, be sure to send us an email hi at makersgonnalearn.com so that we can send you that and make sure your account is good to go so we want to make sure we get that so sorry about that sometimes webs um 
your web browser for security reasons will not redirect you and it's very annoying. But I think they're doing it to try to keep you safe. So anyway, we are just stenciling away. This is gonna be a great video to be a little Q&A and Court's not here always. So feel free to ask us some questions and I wanna know how many new viewers do we have? If you're brand new here, we just recently hit 74,000 uh, crafty friends. Mm -hmm. So woohoo to that. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. Thank you for enjoying our videos. Um, that's why we get to do it. But the reason we're able to produce so many content, so many pieces of content, so many videos is because you guys support what we do here with our membership site, makersgonnalearn.com. So people like Holly that are joining, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we would love to have you, if you own a docketing machine, whether it's a Cricut uh, Maker, a Cricut Explorer, a Brother Skin and Cut, a Silhouette Machine, any machine that works with SVG cut files, you will be able to find value in the membership because it's just like-minded crafters like yourself that can kind of encourage you to maybe treat yourself to some extra crafty supplies mm -hmm. or answer craft questions. Um, and it's a community, so you get more access to myself, Courtney, Rachel, and all of our amazing art files. And, and then, um, Miss Donna was here yesterday when you, or Sunday when you were trying to. The Wi Fi just she, went down. Thank you very much for redoing this. Of course, Donna. There was lots ready for it, and we felt so bad not being able to deliver after we, I mean, we had got ready. We had mentally prepared, we had uh, physically set everything up. So, so sorry about that. Thanks Mike for said, waiting around. Hey, Mock. Mock said he's brand new here and been lurking around for a little while. Mock, welcome to the community. We're super excited to have you. Thanks for lurking, but also thanks for leaving a comment. How many others have been lurking around the channel like <laughs> Mike? Leave us a comment. We want to say hey. We don't bot. Rachel's just reading the comments to us. So, you know, we just want to say hey to you guys because um, we really do appreciate it. And if you're someone that does not leave comments on YouTube, let me tell you, neither am I. Rachel talks about her not being someone. Court, do you leave comments? I don't watch a lot of YouTube videos, to be honest. <laughs> Court's too busy getting crafty. She doesn't watch YouTube videos. Um, but I'm not someone to leave comments on other channels. Um, so I'm trying to get better about that. Rachel and I are both trying to get better about that because, you know, if we want people to support the content we create, we need to be supporting, you know, people we like. So anyway, if you have not done that, maybe today would be a great day to take that leap of faith. Um, yeah, and leave us a little comment. There's some new friends out of the woodwork, Rachel said. So welcome, 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 new friends. We're so excited. Do you want to switch? You want to move over? Yeah. Okay. This looks so good. Like, black is killing it. Yeah. I don't think it, they can really tell how good it looks on the camera, but I think I think they can. I mean, these edges look so good. My yellow, these edges, the edges are looking... It might also be the paintbrush. We have different paintbrushes. Yeah, we do have different paintbrushes, so I may whip out a different one or oh, you have a really good paintbrush yeah, I, do. I need me a really good paintbrush that's a quality brush i'm gonna see what we got over here okay. do, 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 do. i didn't mean to take the court's good getting one. the good ones she's wanting all the good edges people well, most mm -mm -mm. of it is black so yeah it's okay okay what am i gonna use hmm have you used a pouncer court are there pros and cons against using pouncers um, the pouncer has like a flat bit bottom so uh -huh. it's not going to be able to get into all of these nooks right. and crannies and grooves. Okay. You'll only be able to paint the top layer. Well I'm going to be testing out. I have this one but I don't There's know. There's just what it... not as much surface and area have, but it might uh, be better for the edges. Asking what font is this? this is not a font guys. This is from our latest summer collection from Makers Gonna Learn. Um, this is our summer collection. So you can go under the summer category and see all of our past summer files. Um, we have lots and lots. So just go over to the cut files and click that summer category to see all of our amazingness that we have for summer. So great question. We have Aloha and then we have um, the home. other one that says home with a pineapple. So there's two variations for this depending on which style you wanna go. You know, I just was in Hawaii with Silhouette. Um, so, you know, we're pulling out some Aloha vibes and my front door could totally use some Hawaiian um, inspo. So yes. I'm definitely stealing this before Rachel does. You know, Orange, Rachel's orange. always stealing. Always. <laughs> mm. I'm kidding. Yeah. And if you love this uh, summer collection, you are going to be in luck because we have just bought a lot of more art from this designer. Yes, so. this designer um, has done a wonderful job and we love you know, getting to see what you guys think of different designers because then we can go back to them and say, oh my gosh, 
we want to use you more yeah, or it's the same one that made the home decor collection fun 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 next month's collection oh my gosh designed. next month's collection like rachel won't let me talk about it no no she have you told him how big it is i mean it's she's a big collection like if you're not already a makers gonna learn member you want to become a member today because the collection dropping on june 12th is going to be a collection you do not want to miss out on i mean the largest is it our largest collection yet it is <gasps> our largest collection yet is dropping on june 12th and boy oh boy is she hefty so She's, no no theme giveaways there's no theme giveaways there's nothing rachel is this is mm -hmm. under sealed lips lock and, lock and key because you guys are not ready for june 12th let me tell you like we have projects on projects coming out i mean we're we're ready like we're gonna have to do two live streams a day to get all the projects out <laughs> <laughs> and guys I, my tan is looking pretty good i'm very happy about my tan um I'm, so I'm looking oh hi I, I, was, I was this is what i was doing i'm doing my tan if you just are tuning in let me also share with you the finished project um, so that you can kind of get a gist of like what we're doing. So we're using freezer paper to create an amazing doormat. We're using Aloha this time though. Yeah, we're using Aloha. Um, and then you have the home file. So it's from Makers Gonna Learn. If you're not already a member, go to makersgonnalearn.com slash join. It's the first link down below, or you can click the link in the comments with the little crafty, crafty paints. And Donna wants to know if she, or why we're not, or if she can yes. use foam brushes. So Courtney was just talking about that. Courtney, do you want to clarify that one more time? Yeah. So the bristles of the paintbrush are going to be able to get in between all of those uh, little bristles, little bristles on the mat, uh, the so, th brush, so only that your top paint level. gets deeper than just the top level. But uh, yeah, the foam brush is just not going to give you the the same amount effect. of coverage. Yeah, I mean this is really some want. good coverage. Like yeah. we're loving this. I'm my yellow. I think it's just where there's so much paint saturated in the middle makes the edges look a little bit different, but it's still gonna do really, really well. So For sure. we're loving it. Are you gonna conquer this uh, I can start green? conquering the green, or how about I p tap in for black and let you conquer the okay. green? Because let me tell you, I want you to give us all the tips and tricks for the green. Okay. Okay. There's what do you think if I walk around the table so I'm close to this table? Uh, no, really go ahead. Just, yeah, yeah, just switch to the second camera and we'll okay. you can walk around. Perfect, so I'm just gonna continue working on the black. Super awesome. So look at this. Oh my gosh, this paintbrush is doing 10 times better. So this paintbrush, wow. <laughs> we yeah. love this. This is a great paintbrush. So you can get these circular paintbrushes. I mean, just really quality brushes that are like feel soft um, are better for it. So this is working a lot better than our, um, the one I used for the yellow. But yes, yeah, still awesome, awesome, awesome. Being able to get some really good coverage here. Alrighty, I'm gonna use the soft bristle brush that is not circular for okay. these edges because it's a pretty small surface area, so we don't really need to worry about. Be sure know, to speak up so the they can speed. hear you. Oh yeah, hold on. Let's, yeah, yeah. Let's let them see what you're working on. Okay. There we go. Woohoo! We got it. So guys, I hope you all are having a fantastic Tuesday. Hope we're not overwhelming you with crafty goodness today. It's not every day we are making, you know, a project like this, but boy oh boy is it a good one is court gonna be joining us more now in the live streams court can Maybe. you comment on that um yes i will be in tennessee more often i don't think that i will be here daily oh. <laughs> because tanner is just court's so good at it Court's always working she's got to be grabbing you more art files and I things do. so i work yeah, on she's... the file side a lot mm -hmm. in the back end mm -hmm. and i plan a lot of the uh projects so when there's a more complicated one I would love to join you and show you mm -hmm. how I made the example. As well one. as our sewing projects. Yes. So Everyone I made knows a sewing Quartz video. The sewing this project. Morning. Yes. She was already in the studio. Coming at you later. Yes. It's going to be great. It is. It is. Lots and lots of fun. So we're just going ahead and giving all of our paint goodness. And this goes pretty quick, Rachel. What is our time? What time is it? 50 minutes. 50 minutes. Not bad. We're probably got Watch maybe. Yeah, a lot of chit chat here, only 10 or 20 minutes tops, and this project should be completely done. So that's really impressive. Um, 
you know, that was including, you know, us preparing a little bit. So you guys probably, you know, say two hours, you know, to gather everything. But I mean, we even cut this lob. So I don't think it would take even an extra hour no, for you to be able to not. do this at home, start to Maybe finish. Maybe if you're including your shopping. Yeah, if you're including your shopping, you know, heading to the grocery store, picking up some freezer paper, two hours, two and a half, or something like that, you're going to be killing it. So it's going to be so, so good. Lots and fun. Yeah, let the kids help. This is something um, you do want to be pretty particular about um, with the up and down motions because that can, you know, ruin it. But it is really awesome. So um, overall, this has stayed in place really, really well. Um, it super awesome. Um, and, you know, again, guys, I know there's some friends out here that have never commented. I would love to see you commenting today just to say hey, just so we can say hey to you. Rachel's waiting for those comments. Let us know if it's your first time um, leaving a comment, first time watching live. Uh, let us know what live projects you'd like us to make, anything that you would like to see, or if any you have any questions. We want to know. Elizabeth says she can't wait to see the reveal. Oh, Elizabeth, right. neither can I. I'm and ready. Lori says, is it better to use this mat on covered porch? Um, yeah, sure. You know, the more coverage you have, the less discoloration and things like that will happen. Um, you know, this would never get wet, obviously, but it can hold up pretty well in the um, elements. So that's nice too. So now at this time in your project, you're going to want to look around and be like, okay, do I need to touch up anywhere? What is the status here? What do we got going on? Um, you know, how do we want to make this look? Anything that we need to do um, to change the project around? Now is the time to look at that while you still have your paintbrushes, while they're still wet and things like that. So Court, how are we looking? I think it looks amazing. It and does we are ready really for our reveal. And, do you, uh, you want to grab Greta, that yellow paintbrush so I can Greta pull it up? Greta wants to know if you can use wax paper for this. You cannot use wax paper, Greta. If you're using anything, make sure it's freezer paper. You can try using stencil material, but freezer paper is going to be Don't a way it. more affordable option, way better, and you can use your Easy Press or your iron. Okay, Court. All right. Are we ready? Yes, but I want to give you a little tip. For give us the tips for it. when you're removing it. And you can remove it. So we're going to remove ours wet because of the time or live. Because live stream, yes. But ideally, you would let this sit mm -hmm. uh, and fully dry because when we lift one part of the stencil, it's still going to have wet paint on it. And we don't want that wet paint to touch anywhere else on our mat. So we're just going to be careful and we're actually going to cut it into sections. Okay. So we can remove it in smaller pieces. So do you have a pair of scissors yes. behind you, I think? Yes, yes, yes. Here is our right. scissors. So I am just going to get under the freezer paper here mm -hmm. and cut this into a section here for these two letters. And then I'm going to actually trim it over here because you see wow. it just touched the there, but it's actually fine because okay. it wasn't dry. I mean, it was pretty dry. Sure. Okay, so we're lifting... Wow. You want to lift up yep. and then do you want to hold this so we can rip it? Yep. Okay. And then we're just going to rip it over there and get Perfect. this piece out. So then we're going to cut this one. Oh, this is close. Wow. Look at this, guys. What great tips. So now would you do it to the green and yellow or would you just no, say? I would just go. Okay, ahead. so we're just go and go ahead. And this is like adhered really well down. Like look at us peeling this up. You would not get that with the stencil vinyl. Right. Um, so that's look awesome. These crisp edges and what all crisp of these edges. details. Yes. That is a crisp looking circle, Tanner. You did I a great it. job. Thank I'm going to peel you. this up with my finger. Okay. Voila. Okay. Sammy said, Courtney, don't cut your finger off with those scissors. Aw, look at that. that looks so wow. Good. Ooh, look at this, guys. You are Final able to make reveal. You're able to make an amazing Aloha or home project really easy um, with your Cricut today. So simple, so much fun. Yeah, it was fun to make together. Yeah, it's really, really easy. So here's the reveal. Gord, do you want to hold up the home one so we both can have, yeah. we both can hold up um, one of the mats. So yeah, look at, look at this. Oh, we love it. We love it, love it. Uh, Court, are you not been looking at the camera? Yeah. I, oh, I'm not, no. I'm not a seasoned live streamer Oh my yet. goodness, Court. 
Oh, look at the camera. Well, we love this project, guys, and it is so stinking fun. Look at everyone's comments. Sorry. Courts, go hit me with the mat. <laughs> um, but yes, how awesome. We love this project. Everyone's going nuts. Everyone's going nuts. <laughs> it's so much fun. We love getting to make these projects with you because you truly get to see the start to finish project. Um, yes. and it's and awesome. It was a little risky. Like I feel like yeah, iron we could and have messed vinyl it up. are not that risky. Right. But if you get like a dop of paint over here. Gone. <laughs> There's no coming back from it. Well, I could give them a little tip for that. Actually. Give us the tips. Okay. So if you have a, like, you dropped your paintbrush over here and you got mm -hmm. some extra paint, take your scissors and cut, and cut the okay, you don't have to mat demonstrate. so that you cut that paint off. Wow. Of your mat. Really, really awesome. Yes. Rachel, what questions do we have? Um, David needs to rewind the thing because he says that the cut files have a whole different look. <gasps> David, it. yes. If you are like Tanner, uh, dude, I uh, saw the cut file. It does not have a pattern like this. Watch the beginning of the video because we share with you guys how exactly to edit the cut file. So a lot of people have questions about editing our cut files, changing them up and things like that. Yeah. And you're able to do that. Um, and we share with you exactly how to do it. We were able to take out the scallops and we talk about why we chose this file to become a doormat. And a few reasons for that is that we were able to take those scallops and turn it into an oval. And then the hand lettering was really thick letters that are perfect for a project like this because you do not want those hair thin scripty um, fonts because that is a craft fail waiting to happen even with freezer paper. So these bold thick fonts, do you want to show the second camera? These bold thick fonts right here, um, you know, are going to be awesome and we love it. So these thick fonts are super, super awesome. And again, we made sure to choose words that don't have a lot of these openings that we have to position down. So that's super, super fun guys. But again, if you're brand new here and you're not already a member, you know, to makersgonnalearn.com, you can have a Cricut or any die cutting machine um, and we will give you the inspiration, the tips and tricks to get using your machine more. Our yearly members get access to so many additional perks like our fonts, our commercial license to make money with your machine and three e-courses completely free. But the best part is even monthly members get access to all a thousand plus of our cut files. And every single month we come out with a brand new collection. So we you also sure get this printable guide, which is fantastic and some other printables. So be sure to check out the link in the comments or the link on um, the first of the description. But again, you can see the different tiers that we have monthly, six month and yearly. We love that. So do we have any questions, Rach? Oh, we have just people joining, like asking the paint Yes, again, yes, yes, yes. Totally, totally. So a multi-surface paint, um, we are using circle brushes. What do you call those? They just have a flat bottom and they're circular. Right, but they're bristled. They they're any... not foam. Correct. You're not able to, yes. you know, get in on those little crevices if you do not use the bristle. We got the mats at Target. We, you, we got the mats at Target. They're cheaper at Ikea. And Ollie's. And Ollie's. Um, um, let's I see. would say that if you guys like this project, you're going to love the pro course too. Yes. If you are not already registered for the pro class, we have 20 amazing projects that are going to take you from being a beginner to being a pro with your die cutting machine. You want to get registered for that today with the green hearts. Be sure to use that. We still have a special using the code PRO2 at checkout before um, it launches on June 7th. And that is gonna be an amazing project um, because you get to you know, learn all these new projects and it's gonna be just a fun time this summer, you know, really mastering up with your machine. Um, one thing we're offering is if you, you know, take the course, pick three projects out of the course so that you're able to um, go ahead and get registered so that say you make three projects out of the 20, you submit those to us following a form that we'll give you once the course launches on June 7th. Then we'll get, be able to certify you as a die cutting pro. So we're super excited. And again, this course is for Cricut Maker and Explore Friends. This is not limited to just one of these machines. We're opening it up for both machines and it's gonna be a lot, a lot of fun. It's gonna be so fun. Yeah, so do we have any questions? Just about the paint, you've already answered them all, but they're all good. Awesome, awesome.
Well guys, again, if you have not grabbed your membership, makersgonnalearn.com slash join. This was such a fun project. Yes, thanks for having me. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. What a great project. So be sure to check out everything that we have shared with you today. The freezer paper video, the membership, the Cricut Pro die cutting class, because that's a good one. It's launching very soon. You do not want to be the one that missed out on that because you get a special deal until the 7th. Um, I think it's like next week. It's like it's coming up. I it's know. Coming up quick. I can't believe June is so close. <sighs> June is here. May May flew by so fast, so quick. Um, so it's crazy. When is June seventh? It is. Friday. It is next Friday. Woohoo! So we got a little over a week until that course launches. So mark your calendars. And then it'll go up in price too. It so will be going up in price. Then. So you do. Yes. Take action now before you miss out on that. Um, and we're super super excited. So. How awesome, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank Dawn you. Dawn said, or it's Crystal. Said, hey, Crystal. Oh, you're awesome, Crystal. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us and watching. We love it. Yes. Um, but awesome, guys. We are in a sauna here because our air conditioning is off. So I hope you all have a great day. Are there any last minute questions, comments, song dedication, and or prayers? Let's see here. <laughs> oh, this is a good question. Oh, Rachel has Lori a good question. Says, Lori says, can you do the pro class when you have can time? Can you do a you pro class when you have day? time or that day? So no, Lori, this is a self-paced course. So a lot of people is like, where's the supply list, this and that. The course and the supply list, the ebook and the ebook is a special deal that you get because you're joining during the pre-sale. Mm -hmm. So later, if you want that ebook, that's gonna be an additional charge and you don't get the coupon code PRO2 at checkout. So it's 20 projects that are gonna be awesome let me go over it with you guys right now. So any of our courses we have for you all to be able to um, would be awesome um, because where was I going with that? No idea. I have no idea. The I, courses are just awesome because they're awesome. Oh, because they're self-paced. That was Lori's oh, question. I'm yes. sorry. So Lori, they're self-paced. It is um, awesome. And Natasha says, are, as a member, do you get discounts on classes and summits? Yes, the coupon code is on your dashboard. Um, so be sure to grab that. But if you click on the um, green hearts right here, let me zoom in so that we can share with you guys this without being dizzy. And this is drying paint, so let me be careful. Do, 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 do. Anywho, the Cricut Pro class is awesome. So click those green hearts right here and you can become a die cutting pro, which we want you guys to be. We have a certification. If you feel like you're not using your machine as much as you thought you would, you want to get in on this. So you can see guys, we're gonna be teaching new design space skills. We're gonna be making practical projects using the knife blade and sharing with you guys alternatives. If you just have a Cricut Explorer Air um, or Cricut Explorer, we have um, awesome wreaths. Uh, do you want to grab Rachel's that we showed off at the end of yesterday's live stream? We can give a little sneak peek. Do we know where it's at, Rachel? Oh, cool. We're, oh, I see. We've it. been hiding. It's it's hiding because of all the lights. I can't see it. We have brand new knockout tutorials. We have 3D projects and more. And we're talking about um, mastering drop shadow, engraving with your machine, working with photos. Truly pro projects. Oh, let's. We're gonna give a little just a little peek into these exclusive art files that you get in the wreath that Rachel has created. In this class, I would probably pay, I would probably pay just to get Rachel's tips and tricks on how she makes this, just because it's so awesome with how she's able to do it so affordably, um, and we're making some really awesome wreaths. So how to pick complimenting fonts, glass etching like a pro. You're going to love my glass etching video if you have been wanting to master glass etching. It is a lot of fun. We have pattern fill projects. We do not do a lot of pattern fill projects here on the YouTube channel. So we're really cranking it up um, for you guys. And again, if you register before June 7th, you can become um, you know, a die cutting pro, of course, but you also get the free ebook. So the ebook has all the supply list, all the steps written out, and you can reference the forever access of the videos with the digital ebook. So it's a win-win. So you can go ahead, use the coupon code PRO2 at checkout, um, and you guys can take full advantage of that as well. So whew, what a lot of fun today. Guys, again, if you're just tuning in, rewind this live stream, which you can do, um, so you can start from the beginning, because this is such a fun project. So Court, 
thank you so much for coming and giving of us course. all the tips. Of course. You are so welcome. Lots and of I'm fun. so glad that I was able to come. So thank you. Yeah. And lots, thank you guys for watching. Lots of fun. Thanks, Rachel, for being a great moderator. She's just over there clicking and topping and just wow. I can't speak. So she I can can't. <laughs> She's topping to all her little crafty friends. So guys, if you're brand new here, be sure to let us know. Be sure to check out Makers Gonna Learn if you haven't already. If you are a member, thank you, thank you, thank you for all of your support. We love you guys and get ready because June 12th is going to be the biggest collection release ever. She did. Today, Today, Today will be our biggest um, collection launch. Like and lots of stuff. It's something they've asked for. It's something you've asked for. Maybe everything in there is something you've asked for, which could be a very intriguing idea. So until okay. then, wow. until then, you guys are going to have to speculate. And now I'm going to spend every day leading up to June 12th, which is quite a ways away, um, talking about it. And speculations, I hope, will occur. <laughs> and falseness will also occur. Doing great. Doing great, Rachel. It's, I'm telling you, it's a sauna in here. Uh, but uh, the heat does the stuff, heat too. Does stuff too, yeah. <gasps> but okay, guys, any last minute questions? People are saying they hope to go craft shopping tonight to make yes, yes go craft shopping i want to see who Post is going to be one of too. the first in the facebook group to do this project because guys what we love is we have the crafty community and when we do a good project i think you can tell by how many people recreate it and how fast they recreate it and this is something for summer that you don't want to miss out on memorial day has you know came and gone you need to be getting ready for the fourth of july summer decor is here to stay until september at least <laughs> i may stretch mine out until october you never know um but it's a lot of fun so get excited for all that we have in store if you're not you know in the community the facebook group is a great place to share your projects because there's people talking about the projects we make here on the show every day getting more help and we're able to give them even more guidance so if you love what you see here on the channel if you have a die cutting machine and you need to use it more you know our membership is a one-stop shop with education like our guides to projects to cut files fonts for yearly members it's a lot of fun so hope you guys have a fantastic day um any last minute questions final Nope, nope. Okay. All right. Awesome. Thanks, guys. See Bye. you later. Bye.